Yo, I would hate to be doing the video and a bug is crawling in the background. Embarrassing. What's up, YouTube? I'm here. I'm gonna do something a little different. Um, of course, you see the dreads or the locks, freeform locks. You see how they're progressing. But this ain't gonna be about the locks today. Got a little something I'm doing. I'm going to start tomorrow. It's a uh, parasite cleanse and a digestive blend that I'm going to be uh, doing tomorrow. And I'm just going to do a little brief uh, talk about it today. Here you have this is the parasite cleanse right here. And I'm going to leave a link of to where you can get this stuff from. Um, yeah, so here's the herbal parasite clan. See, helps eliminate intestinal parasites, mucus, candida, and waste. Helps balance gut flora, improves digestion, digestion, supports healthy kidney and liver functioning, cleanses and detoxifies the body. All right, and then. We have the digestive blend here. Hope y'all can check that out. Uh, see, 100% organic herbal laxative blend helps eliminate unwanted waste, cleanses the digestive system, relieves constipation, reduces belly f belly fat. Definitely want to do all of that. So you can get all this from www.letsbevegan.com. Like I said, I'm gonna leave the description. So at the bottom, uh, hmm. See ingredients: slippery elm, marshmallow root. Never even heard of marshmallow root, and cinna leaf. All ingredients are 100%. Let me see the ingredients in here. Let me check it out: wormwood leaf, dandelion leaf, milk thistle seed. Burdock root, powder arco, black walnut hull powder, and clove. All ingredients are 100%. So, this is going to be cool. Let me go. Oh. And then, right here, it comes with this. It tells you foods to eat and foods to avoid. See? Hope y'all can see that little clear foods to eat and foods to avoid let's see foods to eat pineapple papaya nuts coconut berries of all kind pumpkin squash pumpkin seeds fresh garlic ginger pick chickpeas quinoa cucumbers avocado spices jackfruit eggplant seeds and grains tahini cabbage brussels sprouts artichokes asparagus peas nut but nut butter Leafy greens, herbs, zucchini, carrots, coconut oil, olive oil, sesame, sesame oil, beans, broccoli, cauliflower, onions, oats, lemon, lime, peppers, green beans, peas, celery, fennel, nut milks, stevia, stevia, never heard of it. Coconut flakes, kale, spinach, coconut milk, lettuce. Those are the foods to eat. Like, once again, you'll get this. In your packet, foods to avoid, meat, dairy, seafood, pasta, flour, baked goods, sugar, maple syrup, agave, rice, potatoes, mangoes, plums, peaches, nectarines, kiwi, corn, high sugar juices, soda, tofu, satin, no, <laughs> satin, tempeh, coffee, mushrooms bananas so you want to avoid eating those sounds like bananas mangoes and peaches and nectarines all those are just heavier fruits so yeah this is going to be interesting so no meat dairy i'm already a vegetarian so no meat dairy seafood i haven't ate pasta in a while uh rice i recently did eat some rice 
but I'm more of a quinoa type of guy anyway, so, cause it's healthier. So this is gonna be good. Let's go over something. It gave you some instructions on how to do it, of course. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you wake up in the morning, first thing you're gonna do, it comes with this, what is it called? Ooh, 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 ooh. Why can't I find it? Oh, okay. I'm tripping. What you want to do is start each day by adding half to one teaspoon of the diatomaceous. Diatomaceous? Diatomaceous? Diatomaceous earth to a tall 16 ounce glass. So you're going to take this half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, put it in a 16 ounce glass and drink it on empty stomach. That's what you're going to do. And then over the previous night, you're going to prepare your parasite cleanse drinks, right? You're going to add two tablespoons of parasite glands to an empty quart size mason jar. Next, add two tablespoons of digestive blend into the same mason jar, all right? Then you're gonna carefully fill the jar with boiling water and cover the lid, bloop, 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 right? Let the tea steep on your kitchen countertop for a minimum of four hours up to overnight. Then simply strain your herbs and pour back in, and pour no, it's to drink the tea back into the mason jar and prepare your taste buds for the bitter taste. So I've been hearing, I've been doing a research and a lot of the uh, testimonials that let you know that it's real bitter, but that's the bitterness is what gets rid of the parasites, all these herbs and stuff that's good for you. Because we're addicted, we're being addicted to sugar and all these processed foods. So this organic stuff that's in here, this is what you need, and this is going to get rid of those parasites that's in your gut, in your intestines. They're living in there. Well, me and my homegirl was talking the other day. You know that little dot you see floating around? Looks like it's a lint or something. You think you're seeing molecules? No. That's a sign that you have parasites in your body. So we need to get that shit out, yo. Uh... Here's a little something. Let's see. Boo, 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 Here's some highlights that I want to read. I should have highlighted it, but uh, I didn't. Oh, so you do this. You do it for two weeks, right? You eat what you're supposed to eat. You do the routine. You drink a glass of water with this on an empty stomach. Then you drink the then you drink this. It's going to be in a 32 ounce uh, uh, jar. We're doing mason jars, right? We're going to be in a 32 ounce mason jar. So you don't drink it all at once. You're going to drink it throughout the day, right? Until that whole mason jar is empty. You're going to consume the drink. You're going to do that every day for two weeks. You're going to take a two week break. And then you're going to. Going to take a two-week break, but that don't mean eat junk food. No, 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 you're not going to go back to the crap you're eating. No, you're going to stay on the diet. You're going to stay on the foods to eat diet right here. Follow this. And look up and look up foods and look up uh, meals you can make with these right here. These ingredients. It's a lot of stuff that's out there to blow your freaking mind. Whew. And then... You're going to continue again for another two weeks. Yep. Go ahead and continue. Go over the herbals for two. You will take the two week break, then repeat the process for an additional two weeks. Right. 
Then be please be advised that each herbal blend contains enough herb for two to three weeks of cleansing, depending on the adjustments you make to your doses. So it may be necessary to purchase an additional cleanse to complete the process. Well, don't add any additional dosage. So let's go over this uh, little side of what to expect. Can you see that? I don't know. What to expect. Uh, what happens during the cleanse? I'm not going to read this whole thing. Just a little something. something. Uh, during the cleansing process, you will be required to drink three to four cups of the herbal tea each day for a minimum of two weeks. You would then take a break from the drinking of the herbs for two weeks and repeat the process. It is important to maintain eating a clean diet throughout the cleansing process, including the break week. Like I just said, how will I feel? Are there any side effects? Detox systems are common with any cleans. This is due to the large amount of toxins leaving the body at one time. Some of the most common symptoms symptoms are headaches, runny nose, occasional breakouts, diarrhea, glass, gas, not glass, gas, bloating, upset stomach, muscle aches, cramps, fatigue, cold flu symptoms, and frequent bowel movements. It is important to stay moderately active by stretching and walking. This will help reduce bloating and gas that that can occur. Probiotics can also help reduce common detox symptoms. If you choose to take one, make sure it's taken at the end end of each day. Oh, at the end of the day, after you have consumed all your tea, the best way to handle detox symptoms is to make sure you drink enough water. So drink a lot of water too. It is recommended to drink, and it's possible to do just quit drinking other shit. So. Have it in your mind that you're only going to drink water in this motherfucking tea. I don't mean to cuss. I'm just playing. In this tea, right? It is recommended to drink as close to a gallon of water as possible each day. This will help to flush out any toxins and prevent dehydration. However, if you have any underlying health issues or begin to experience any of these symptoms ex excessively, discontinue the use and Consult with your physician. I said I wasn't going to read this whole thing, but clearly I am. How often will I have bowel movements each day? The goal is to have a minimum of two to four bowel movements per day, which is ideal for a healthy digestive system. So if you're only taking a dump once a day or less, once a week, twice a week, and some people that don't dump, they don't want some month. Like, what is wrong with you? You're supposed to take a dump at least twice a day. At least twice a day, you're supposed to take a dump, especially if you're eating three meals. So, if you're not taking a dump twice a day, you're highly, you're backed up. You're backed up. You need to do something. You need to get this parasite cleansed. You need to get this digestive blanch. You need to drink some freaking laxative. You need a freaking enema. So where was that? Okay, to for the, which is ideal for a healthy digestive system. This will also minimize detox systems and ensure that you are flushing out all the parasites and toxins. So it is important to drink plenty of water and eat clean during the process. Please note that loose stools are common during the cleansing process. So this is common, you know, your stool is going to be loosey-goosey. So don't worry, it'll be all right. Uh, drink plenty of water. You should be only drinking water. That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do. Stay away from mini maize, Tropicana. All that stuff is lots and lots of sugar. It's too much sugar in that stuff. Uh, so all that stuff that's in that aisle right there, where you got the mini maize, the Tropicana, the Blasi Blasi, Sun Kiss, and all that. Cut it out. Too much sugar in there. Uh, another question, will I see worms in my stool? During the cleanse, it's very common to see things in your stool that you may not have ever seen before. You may see worm segments and things that resemble rolled up tomato skins, flukes. That's in parentheses, flukes, that's what they are, flukes. I guess I have to look that up. Rice, nuts, seeds, and even whole chickpeas. These are typically parasite larvae and segments. 
You may also see an abundance of yeast, mucus, stringy things, worm pieces, and many other things. Do not worry. Nothing comes out alive. <laughs> and things are usually compacted in stools and hard to see. Wouldn't that be fucked up if shit came out alive? You turn around, shit, shit, and rah. Okay. <laughs> okay. How often, final question, how often should I cleanse? It is recommended to cleanse at least once or twice a year for routine maintenance. And keep eating healthy. Quit eating that junk McDonald's, Burger King, all that other crap. And it's crazy. Because you go to the doctor and they're not telling you you have freaking parasites in your body. So that's a lot of cause of a lot of mucus and stuff. Oops, hold on. That's caused a lot of mucus and I mean, I don't want to say mucus. It's a lot of cause of headaches and other problems, all from the gut and intestine. So, like I said, I'm leaving a link. In two weeks, I'm going to do an update of how I feel or what happened, what I experienced for my first two weeks. I might do a week. I'm starting tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday, 27, 28th. I don't know. But yeah, uh, hit like, hit subscribe, hit you don't like this video, give me some feedback. Have you ever done something like this? I've took in pills to where, you know what I mean, it flushes out the system. I mean, but nothing to this extent. And when I did take the pills, uh, I did end up losing like 10 pounds. So that was probably like 10 pounds of crap in my body. We need to get that crap out of our bodies, yo. So, stay healthy. Stay locked up. Free form is what I suggest. And yo.